Louisiana. This is actually the very first stadium show of the 1989 U.S. tour. And um, 50,000 of you wanted to be here with me on a Friday night. Thanks for coming, guys. You guys are very, very welcoming, and you always have been. And that's why I love coming back to see you. Um, I actually was, um, I was hanging out with uh, the mayor of Baton Rouge earlier. Kip Holden, he's cool. And uh, he told me that today he um, he told me that today he's ma making it Taylor Swift Day in Baton Rouge. So, so he also told me that I get to be mayor for the day. Um, so what would, what would I do if I was mayor? I think if I was mayor, I would say like, you all have to admit that cats are the best animal. Of course, tigers. Since I saw you last, um, a lot has happened in my life, and you have made a lot of really good things happen in my life. Uh, all of them surrounding this album that I put out called 1989. But I think you so because is it just me or do you all know every single word to every single song? So writing 1989 was a lot different from me than writing any other album. Um, because writing 1989 I was a single 25 year old girl living in a big city and um, I was writing songs about love from the outside looking in. And so I did a lot of thinking about love. And where do we learn about love initially? Where do we get our ideas about what we want to daydream about as far as romance goes? And I think for me, I learned a lot about love from movies I watched when I was a kid, and I used to watch movies like, these amazing 80s teen movies like Breakfast Club and Sixteen Candles and Say Anything. These movies where you have usually two characters, main characters, who are very different from each other, but somehow they're perfect for each other. And they meet, and they fall in love, and then, about halfway through the movie, something happens. There's a terrible misunderstanding. And one character storms off, and the other one is left there just wishing that they had said what they wanted to say, which was, I'm sorry, come back. I miss you at 2 a.m. <laughs> 